go to the web app like we showed, connect like we showed previously. And then um, you'll see in the upper um, left-hand corner next to the graph button um, where you change the graph, you'll see um, another icon um, which is for the onboard memory. Um, so we want to set that up. So go ahead and click there. And you'll see um, the memory control panel will pop up. And you'll notice that the graphs are no longer being displayed in the background. Um, and so it says uh, memory status ready. And then we want to click, uh, we, we have two options to click. We can go switch to real-time graphing, which will put us right back into the app. Um, so if you click that on mistake uh, and you don't, you decide you don't want to do use the onboard memory, just click that. Um, or you click setup if you want to begin setting up your uh, your recordings. Next, you'll see um, all of the uh, graphs that you can select in the um, graphing mode. You'll see those comes up, come up. And so you want to um, enable which uh, to enable which sensors that you're going to record with. You're going to want to click on the graphs that you um, that you want for your experiment that you're doing. So let's say I want to measure light intensity. I go down to the uh, light sensor here. I click that. You see that it's highlighted. I go down to uh, the bottom of the screen where it says next or cancel. Um, so go ahead and hit next. And now in the memory control panel, the next thing it asks for is the data rate that you want to record. So you'll set that just like um, in the real-time graphing mode, there is a slider. It defaults here to one point per second. You can actually go all the way down to 60 seconds per point. So one point every 60 seconds. So you can, you can really slow the data rate down in the memory mode. So let's um, set this at um, 25 points per second. And then I go over here to, uh, I can hit cancel back or start recording. Okay, so this is the next screen that comes up. It says status, logging in progress. So it's giving you the status of the Pocket Lab Voyager. So right now we are actually measuring um, uh, light intensity. Um, and it says click the device button in the top left to leave this trial and collect results later. Um, we can stop logging and clear the memory, or we can stop logging and download the data. Okay. Now, if you want to go ahead and just disconnect, you can do that as well. So let's say we'll just go ahead and um, click the little uh, button there. It says collect results later. We say yes. And now I'm no longer connected to the app, and um, but I'm still uh, recording data um, with the Voyager. So I'm still recording uh, light intensity data. Okay. So now let's say I want to, I, I go out, I do my experiment and I want to come back and upload my data. Um, so what I need to do now is I come back and I connect. Okay. So now I uh, connect to my Voyager. And as it's connecting, um, instead of uh, going right to the real-time graphing um, mode, uh, the app can tell that the Pocket Lab Voyager or Weather has data stored on the memory. So the first thing it's going to want to do when it connects, instead of sending you to the real-time graphing mode, is pull up the memory control panel again and ask you what you want to do. So the options are you can stop logging data and download the data. Right now it's actually still recording that data. You can stop logging data and clear the memory. So let's say uh, you didn't like the trial, you didn't like the experiment that you just did, you don't, you don't need to see the data. You can stop the recording and just clear it off the memory. Um, you can clear the data and set up, or you can uh, switch to real-time graphing. So generally what you're going to want to click uh, most of the time if you have a memory on your Pocket Lab that you want to uh, use is the Stop Logging and Download Data button. So when I click that, it stops logging data on the Pocket Lab. And now it is downloading the data. You can see that it's uh, downloading. Um, with the flashing uh, LED light. And 
once the data is downloaded, you can uh, it'll actually display the data in review mode, just like if you recorded the data in real-time graphing mode.